How many of you have heard of Badu before? Okay, so I don't need to tell you that it's the, like the third most popular search engine in the whole world. Uh, it's got 80, over 70% uh, market share. It was started uh, almost 10 years ago by Robin and his co-founder, uh, and it's extraordinary that we have a chance to have him here. Um, prior to that, he was a, kind of a search engine guru in the uh, 90s by working at InfoSeq and others, and I don't know how we missed him, but he didn't go to Stanford. I wish he had. I wish he had, but he, he uh, got his first degree at Peking University, and then he got a Master's of Science uh, in Computer Science at the State University of New York uh, in Buffalo in 1994. He's a co-founder, as you know, the chairman, the CEO, the grand, grand master of Badu. So let's welcome him to Stanford. Thank you, Professor. Myers, for your introduction. I'm really glad I, I finally made it here. Uh, I've always wanted to teach a class here at Stanford because uh, I, I always wanted to lure uh, the top talents from the world's uh, most, uh, the finest school. So uh, finally, I'm here. Thank you for, uh, for your interest. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, opportunities in China at the age of innovation. Uh, I picked this topic because I think this is a, a, a very important uh, topic for, for many of you uh, to, to know. Uh, right now, I think we are still uh, in the recession period, although I've heard uh, words that recession is uh, officially uh, finished, but uh, uh, I feel a little bit different. Last time I was in this country was uh, May of 2008. Uh, I, I still feel that today, the economic situation is um, not better but worse than uh, what was uh, uh, like in, in May of 2008. I can tell from uh, the, the newspapers I read in my hotel room, uh, now the newspapers are, are, are thinner than, than before, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> companies uh, still have uh, less money to, to advertise. Uh, why, why do I bring up this topic? Because I think everyone is probably thinking of, of what should we do? How do we deal with the recession? Or how do we deal with the difficult times? I, I think I have something to offer to you. Uh, if you look at this, uh, this chart, I guess many of you uh, follow the NASDAQ. Um, this is a chart from uh, about 99 to, to 2003. Uh, you know, Baidu was uh, uh, founded uh, at the beginning of 2000. And quickly, NASDAQ reached its, uh, its high, historical high of 5,000. Uh, I remember it was March of 2000. Then it dropped to about uh, 1,100, uh, a little over a year later. That is, a, uh, that is a very difficult time for people in the Internet industry. I think it's much uh, severer than what you uh, have experienced in the past year or two uh, for the general economic situation. Uh, during that time, uh, it's just uh, the, the very early days of Baidu's, uh, uh, Baidu's startup experience. That's why uh, when uh, we officially entered the, the recession or, or uh, the, the uh, challenging situation caused by the financial crisis, uh, I, I keep asking myself, what should we do? What I learned during the, the last downturn, especially um, in the, uh, in the uh, early 2000s uh, when, when the Internet bubble bursted, I guess uh, uh, some of you still remember it's, it's quite an experience for, uh, for many of the companies and uh, many uh, of the, the people who, who work for those Internet companies. Uh, we were lucky to raise the first round of money before the internet bubble bursted. But uh, the, 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 the challenge is that we really didn't have a business model at that time. Um, didn't have a, a, a uh, feasible business model, let's put it this way. Because when we started, the, the business model is to provide the backend technology, search technology, to the portal companies in China. Uh, 
we did that. We, we, uh, we came up with a very good uh, Chinese search engine technology, and we signed up a lot of the, the Chinese portals in a very short period of time. That includes Sina, Sohu, NetEase, Yahoo China, and uh, any portal company, you, you, major portal company you can think of in China. But uh, what we quickly found was that uh, we were still losing money. Although we probably signed up uh, the, the portal companies that represent more than 80% of the Chinese search traffic, uh, Baidu still could not survive. Uh, that's the challenge we faced. So quickly I realized that we were too optimistic about the, the future of, uh, of internet in China. At that time, there were uh, only about 10 million internet users. And uh, the, the portal companies didn't want to buy the best search technology. They only want to buy the, the, the cheapest technology. That made uh, our life uh, very hard. Uh, so we realized that, uh, and I made the decision, we need to change. We need to change uh, to a different business model so that we can come up with better technology and w the better search technology can be appreciated by, by the market. So in the summer of 2001, we decided to uh, switch gear uh, from a back-end technology provider to a front-end consumer-oriented search service. And on September 20th, 2001, uh, Baidu.com went live. So it's been more than uh, nine years, or eight years. Uh, that, from that day on, I think, we, we really uh, found what was right uh, for this company. Then we really focused on uh, developing the best Chinese search technology and dominate the, the market. For, for the, uh, the next eight years, this company have almost exclusively focused on Chinese search and came out with quite a number of uh, innovative ideas related to uh, search services, uh, such as postbar, such as uh, related search, such as uh, bo box computing, uh, Aladdin project, etc. cetera. Um, in fact, uh, in the year of 2002, uh, shortly after we, we launched Baidu.com, I, uh, although I, I had the title of president and CEO, I basically went back to the engineering group and functioned as a project manager for about 10 months to make sure that we had the best technology uh, in, in Chinese search. And after that, uh, traffic took off. Uh, our brand got uh, uh, very widely accepted uh, in, in 2003. In, in 2004, uh, we raised our last round of uh, uh, VC money led by Draper Fisher Jervinston. Uh, the sponsor of this class, and Google, one of our great colleagues. Uh, <laughs> then a year later, you know, 2005, uh, the company went public. Uh, the IPO price was 27, and uh, it closed on the first day at 122. It, it was great results for many of the, the, the Baidu employees and for all of the Baidu investors. It was uh, a, a very miserable thing for me because... Uh, when I decided to take the company public, I was only prepared to deliver financial results that, that match the price of 27 or maybe a little higher, 30, 40. But I was really shocked to see that the, the price went to 122 on the first day. So that means I need to deliver real results that matches a, an expectation much, much higher than uh, what I had prepared to do. But in any case, I thought I, I, I had no choice, so I put my head down and focused on operation, focused on technology, focused on user experience, and uh, I, I delivered. At the time of the IPO, Baidu had about 40% uh, of the uh, traffic share in China uh, for Chinese search. Uh, four years later, as of today, I think we have about 76% of the, uh, the uh, Chinese search traffic. In fact, I think Baidu answers more uh, queries in China today than Google does in the U.S. Because uh, you know, China is the largest uh, internet economy by, uh, by population. Uh, at the end of last June, we had 336 million 
internet users that's larger than the total US population. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so US will never be able to catch up. <laughs> And uh, you know we have a very dominant uh, uh, traffic share over there, so uh, it, it's really a very good spot to be in. So in retrospect, um, I think the way to deal with crisis, deal with challenge, deal with difficult time is uh, is like this. First, you need to be realistic. You you need to take a a, a pragmatic approach because in the beginning we saw the, the portal companies well feed us, they, they, they will pay us enough amount of money, but uh, that's not the reality. When they, the difficult time comes, they will try to survive by themselves. They will try to control costs. You have to be on your own. And then we figured that what we're really good at was Chinese search. We, we decided to come up with a better uh, search service, better product, better uh, user experience. We, we started to innovate, come up with, with uh, all kinds